Wow, this is going to be the brightest show ever. I can't see anything. Welcome to another exciting episode of... Feel it real fun for all. Yeah, that's right. You do, you do that while I punch. But... 20, is it the 20th, the 29th of June? What is that date? Uh, no idea. <laughs> okay, Depends sometime where you're in not. June 2024. Uh, and it's your manifesting questions anymore. answered live. That's we have right. to work something out different for next week. Well, it's cold. We'll come out earlier and move shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys. <laughs> All right. And, yeah, your manifesting questions answered live. Hey, for fun, if you've done dr Triple D before, we're not doing it in July. We're doing something else, but go to dreamdrivenday.com anyway, right? And have a look. Dreamdrivenday.com. <laughs> read it. Ask me questions. There's officially no ad copy up there, but you can still join. Cool. How's that for effectiveness? <laughs> Very effective. So, uh, feelitrealfun.com. Yes. Uh, feelitrealfun.com or dreamdrivenday. That was dreamdrivenday.com. Yeah, yeah, that was dreamdrivenday.com. And for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. That's right. We'll be doing joinremarkable.com commercials. Jesus. <laughs> Where the hell is my phone? We're really old it's nowhere nice. near here. Yeah. So it's <laughs> dinging in my head because my mom's sending me messages about uh, stuff. Someone. All right. This is what happens, Joe Weldon. It's like radio. <laughs> I, I don't have uh, notifications on this thing, but they're showing up in this thing. So like, I, it's like radio. So now we got to perfect that. But I digress. Victoria? Yes. All right. So shall we dive in? Can, we shall. Can you read things? Hopefully, yes. Do I need to... Are you wanting me to read that first? Yeah, let's read that Neville Goddard <laughs> quote. <laughs> okay. Just for fun. So, I'm just going to bow down while I read it. Imagination creates, conserves, and transforms. Imagination is radically creative when all imaginative activity based on memory disappears. I remember how you were this morning. You were cranky. When? Uh, you know, I'm not in a good mood anymore. <laughs> I wasn't cranky. You uh, were cranky. It wasn't me. <laughs> Imagination <laughs> right. is conservative when its imaginal activity is fed with images supplied mainly by memory. You, it wasn't See, me. Yeah, right. It wasn't me. Is that like turning back? Well, you know, this morning, assault. like, I, I couldn't, yeah, preserve it, assault, right? So mm. I, I couldn't find a cable. And, no, we couldn't. And, um, we still don't know where they whatever. are. Whatever. All right, anyway. Way home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination is transformative. So that was, yeah, it's yeah, conservative. conservative. Otherwise. Yeah, you just said that. It's conservative. Thanks. Imagination is transformative. Yes, Victoria, tell me more. When it varies a theme already in being. Now, one of the things that we've explored in the past three optional live calls is this. Uh, we, we talked about miracles and sickness. We talked about money and something about magic, right? Or actually, attention. And, and one of the things that we brought up was the same, the same, the same, the same. You've got so many options that you can allow to show up. But most people, they try to imagine the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, or they accept as true the same thing, the same thing, the same thing about you. Mm. Oh, right? Versus I get to discover her with every kiss, every moment, every breath. But I digress. <clears throat> By the way, if you want to get sick and <laughs> stiff... <laughs> Yes, there is a thing. Right. Is if you want to get sick and stiff, mm. just move the same way, the same way, the same way, the same way. And if and if you want to get really stuck, just keep defending the same thought, the same thought, the same thought, the same thought. Or you can interrupt it. Can I go on or? <laughs> Let me just finish the quote. <laughs> Let me, right. When it varies a theme already in being. When it mentally alters a, alters a fact of life, when it leaves the fact out of the remembered experience or puts something in its place. Is that the revision -y bit? Well, like, I mean, this morning, you know what you said to me? I needed to revise heavily what <laughs> you said. <laughs> right. 
if it upsets the harmony it desires. So here's what's really cool, guys. Yes. Passively remembering and repeating uh, the same old, the same old, the same old, or join Remarkable.com. Okay, you ready? Let's dive into Victoria. Okay. All right. So the first question today Joanne is... wants you closer to the mic. Oh, is it on? Yes. Yeah, it's on. Okay. <laughs> The first question today, oh, we've got a reprieve. The sun's sort of going behind a cloud. That's right. First question today is from Jason in the Mod Squad. He's a new mod, by the way. Do I have free will? He is a new mod. And Jason asks, do I have free will? <sighs> you know, what's it costing you? Hmm. What I notice is people that get really... By the way, I love that you brought this up because we had a post and you know, the person asserted that nobody has free will except for them in their reality because, <laughs> well, you know, of course, the only person in their reality that has free will is them. That's why they're a special person. Why isn't my special person asking me to marry me whenever I've imagined it? Because they don't have free will kind of bullshit, right? Mm. And here, here's the thing that I toss out, right? Mm. Neville Goddard s says that you have... Free will, but it ends. Uh, your free will ends. Yeah, you've got free wills to to accept or reject any concept. In other words, any state. So at any time, you can accept or reject. At any time, a concept or a state. And your state determines all that you do and all that befalls you. Right? Now, here's what's really, really cool. So that's where free will ends. Yes. Yep. So I've got free will to teach. I, as far as I can tell, I've got free will to teach the truth. The way I, I share my experience, that's what I do, right? And so, of course, I ask a question, right? So you're asserting that your special person doesn't have free will. Do I have free will and does Jason? So, so I ask this in the whole thing, and, of course, it gets really bloody, and, <laughs> and, they, and they leave the building. Really bloody. <laughs> right? Because you, know, you can be right or you can be happy. So here's what I notice, right? So I wake up in the morning, and I go, Right, I can be right or happy, right? And I don't have the right fucking charging cable, mm -hmm. and I just need one now. Yes. And I'm trying to ask Victoria a question, and she's not responding the way that I want her to. <laughs> yes. Right? And guess who's getting pissed off? Uh, yes. Right? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> she's entertained. Right? I, I've, 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 I've decided to visit the 60s. Right? I'm gone on a bender. Right? <laughs> Yeah. And of course, I'm shaking my head afterwards, right? <laughs> it's like, look at me go, right? So I've got free will to accept or reject any state, right? Any concept. They come out of the blue, I can accept or reject, and then I move on or inhabit, right? This is how real this is, right? Now, if I deny her capacity to have free will, yes. I have to actually deny my capacity to have free will, so now it's like, well, so I, so now I have to manage her and manage me, and it all becomes about management. And instead of marriage, we have a management thing going on. So anyway, Jason, free will, free will. <laughs> We're going to keep exploring your questions as we continue in. And uh, i got to make sure I turn that shit off. I'll just leave it inside. So well, um, well. hang on, I'm getting out. So I'm not confused, but well, maybe... So you're saying I, I don't that allow you to get confused minute, on a show. The moment that we step into a state, our free will ends. Is you can keep cho you can keep choosing different states. States. Yes, but, but when you enter the state of happy, loving gardener, then it, it takes all over that all that you do. Yeah. yeah so all you. the pressure's off you. Yeah. But on the other hand, if I believe that you don't have free will, and I have to manage you. Right? So first I make you mine, and then I'm going to manage what you do. Because here's what I've discovered. When I make her mine because she has no free will, I'm still not happy. Right? So I've made her mine. She doesn't have free will, so I'm still not happy. Now I have to imagine I have to make her do everything I want her to do so that I can be happy. And then I discover, right, still, like since I have to make her do everything, now it's all hard work. I, I just find it all. It's, it's fucking so nuts. Work. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> On the other hand, we can actually have this thing called a relating ship, right? Two ships are relating to each other. Mm. But I digress. Okay. As we continue to answer J Jason's questions and more on today's show. Okay. All right. 
Thank you, Jason. <laughs> see, every now and then I can actually see and comments. And good on you for becoming a moderator of the Mod Squad. <laughs> I am moderator of the Mod Squad. <laughs> yeah, you probably are. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Otherwise known as fresh meat. <laughs> I love rookies. They got a new one behind the counter the other day. She was a uh, lifeguard. And I said, oh, you're working out here now. I said, yeah, yeah. First, they, are, they often seem to do that. Yeah, yeah, they, they migrate. Start, yeah, and then yeah, they, they move. start move, moving to reception. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they get <laughs> tired, that. right? And and, and, and and I go, nice, fresh meat, right? <laughs> and they love me because they understand I'm just mucking with them. But it's like, oh, you're going to have your days, that's for sure. Mm. So, Victoria, okay, uh, let us continue. So, is this the Olive? Olive, yes. Olive. Feliz Olive. I think he is Mexican. Feliz Olive. Well, you're just making it up. Feliz Olive. It matches your song. <laughs> anyway, okay. Anyway, the right. next question is from Olive in A Law of Attraction. Who can Mexican? I want mm. to I want join to be free. <laughs> mm. And Olive asks, Excellent. I had the desire to join Remarkable.com. Sorry, I'll move over here. No, I'll move it over to you. Okay. You don't have to hurt yourself. But it's like a full You've got free will to sit any way you want to. But it's like a full month's oh. payday for me. There is many things in the world I want to buy to improve my life. How do I go about it? I feel like I want to imagine having lots of money instead of imagining specific wins about goal, goods and services. What do you guys reckon? Cool. You know what? There's nothing wrong with imagining up. Uh, yeah, are you, are you, we've got a tiny little money pack. I don't know if you got this. It's seven bucks. It's uh, the secret of money, and we have four different money imaginings diagrammed out in there. It's really good shit. Uh, making money, spending money, having money, investing money, that kind of thing, right? And and here's what I notice: there's different ways to experience all those things. I went out today, I, I, I went shopping at three different places, spent a lot of money, came back with five bags full of stuff. Mm. I imagine getting great deals. I imagine seeing lovely people. Uh, a full-on experience seems to be really, really cool. So, however, I, I notice a lot of people struggle with dollar figures. Some people don't. Those people that don't struggle with dollar figures fascinate the fuck out of me, and I like to get on the phone with them. Right, because for me it's all experiential. I just want to know. Uh, I, I want that bottle of whiskey. Hmm. Right. I go to the b bottle shop the one day and it's ninety nine dollars, and I went right yo. Right. At the other one, it's going to be eighty one when I walk in the door, and I walk in the door and they just marked it down to eighty one. It's like thanks, I'll take that. Who do I blame? Right. Which one of you put it up? Down. Yeah. Put the new sign up. All that stuff. But play, the, the biggest thing that I notice is people forget that money is speed. And, and, and when you can explore money as speed, then I don't have to like, you know, barter shit around all the time to get a bottle of whiskey. If I had to sell a goat to get some cheese, to get some cheese, to give to the whiskey guy, because the whiskey guy hates goats but loves cheese, it would be a slow day. I wouldn't get much done. Uh, on the other hand, the fact that I can walk in and go beep, Right, two of the three places, two of the four, two of the five places I went shopping today, I was the first person on their machine. <laughs> right, yo, crank it up. Right, yeah, money is speed. Beep, I'm out. Right. Meanwhile, I had a lot of fun. Cool. Uh, Regina asks, how to deal with generalized anxiety disorder constantly? Uh, here's what I notice, and I've I've had anxiety, PTSD. Uh, <laughs> probably depression at different times, all that stuff. Uh, you don't constantly have anxiety. I've not yet met one human being that does. I actually, I, I used to be the asshole that people would come see. And they'd come in and they'd be all stressed out about stuff. And I'd say, we haven't started yet. Sit. Would you like some tea? I would love some tea. And their entire body would change and they would enjoy the tea. And I'd say, it's time. And then they would put on their anxiety and come in the room and we'll talk. Right? And this is so important to realize that you're bigger than this experience that you're calling anxiety. Uh, at freenevel.com, we've got something called the Anxiety Eliminator. Mm. If you want to invest a few dollars, I would strongly suggest that. freenevel.com, the Anxiety Free Eliminator. Freenevel.com. Ah, it said both. Oh, yeah, great okay. question. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the long copy that will persuade you into buying it because you don't have any free will, going back to Jason's thing. Uh, 
<laughs> Here's the cool thing, right? So uh, a while back, I was asked a question, and the question is, do you want to heal? And I said, yes. Are you ready to was the second question. I said, yes. Right? That's all I'm going to say. All right? And since then, I've made some changes and commitments. Uh, so NevilleGoddardStore.com, Anxiety Eliminator, or FreeNeville.com, just uh, type anxiety into the search bar. If you can't find it, drop me a PM and I'll send you a link to it. Mm. Right? Total game changer. But I digress. Beth says this is one of the first ones she invested in. Alex just put up a link. You people, I love you. you. These are remarkable kids, by the way. Regina, okay. you're you're quite welcome. And, and normally, I don't take questions on the show. I, I tend to just I, I, I just tend to ignore them. But, <laughs> but fortunately, the sun. the sun went away, and and honest fucking god, I give a shit. I've been there, right? Yeah, you know, so uh, I imagine your smiles and reach out to me anytime. Cool. Okay. And he just made work for Victoria. Yeah, because <laughs> I just love that. that. Not here, so, firstly, thank you, Oliver, for yours, and thank you, Regina, for yours. Gaz, I says the right? anxiety eliminator is wonderful. Don't know why. Don't <laughs> love <know> why. you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> darkery, I just love you. Well, right? You should make a free will eliminator package. <laughs> I tell you what, I I swear to God, poke me, I'll put up a podcast, oh, yeah, because because I because I I've got some really funny shit I want to do, but that'd be great, wouldn't it? It's the free will, will eliminator, eliminator package. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be that guy. Yeah, who's that guy? Free will eliminator. What, you oh, just did him. oh, I sort of did him. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love me some Alex Jones. That's right. Yeah. Yep. This is Alex Jones. <laughs> oh, dear shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I got a compliment the other day on the Facebooks, not the hmm. YouTubes. About my Bill Clinton impersonation, oh, yeah. I just thought, oh, that's You're great. I just, well. I just <laughs> love my me God. a little bit of. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, okay. that's right. The next question, right? The next question is from Mahir, mm. Mahir in Law of Attraction. By Hopefully, Mahir Pollard. is here. Huh? Hopefully, Mahir is here. And hard work? Question mark. I thought a lot about this one. Mahir asks, "What role does action and hard work, or effort, or just work, <laughs> play in manifestation?" Oh, that's, that's like a key. Sure. <laughs> anyway. Like with reverting to play, yes. Manifest, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> but anyway, it just moved on. Yes. Let's say mm. you are living in that state of the wish fulfilled. Yep. Now what? It's not just going to come to you without doing anything, or without lifting a finger, right? I mean, we still need to put in the work. I need some clarity here. What role? does action play all right so let's get rid of myth number one mm. myth number one is i wait to take inspired action right no you don't right inspired action is fun it's actually bullshit right now here's what happens neville goddard says because here's the question right how do i know if it's inspired action 20 believe it or not i've got that question about ten thousand times Right, feels like it anyway. So let's go, Mister Twenty. How do I know it's inspired action versus ego action? Uh, no, there's inspired action and ego action. Yep. And I just go right, y'all. So I'm going to the gym today. Hmm. You go right? every day. Yes. I, I go every day. I smash. I curl. I do things. Push. <laughs> right. Have a lot of fun. Yes. And so uh, Neville Goddard says, "All that you do and all that befalls you." All, not some, not this versus that, all, right? Infinite response. All. Mm. So I, I, I got an email this morning. I didn't bother sticking it in the show. It's it's the typical one. Well, Mr. 20, if words had didn't have power, and it's like, all righty, ready, ready, ready. All right, so you're trying to convince me. I get it. You're trying to argue with me. I got it. You love words, <laughs> right? And I keep saying, right, you know what drives the car? The driver. How does the driver drive the car? The steering wheel. That's called your state. Your state determines all of your thoughts, all of your thinking. 
all of your emotions, all your reactions, right? And so your state steering wheel. Some people use their indicators, otherwise known as turn signals. Some people don't, right? Okay. So. <laughs> Always. No, actually, you, she's nuts about them, right? She uses them when she doesn't have to, well, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm going to the shops today, right? And I used to have PTSD, but today I had a flashback. I'm going to the shops. I'm on Bridge Street. I'm, I've got my left indicator turn signal on to turn on to Main Street, Eltham. You can Google this intersection, right? <laughs> so I, I cross the little bridge. I put on my left indicator to to merge onto uh, Main Street. And there's this car coming at me that has its left turn signal on, oh, which, means, straight, which means it shouldn't be going straight. Yeah, right? right. Now, here's the thing. Ready? Turn signals, otherwise known as indicators, lie they don't always tell the truth now i trust what the person's doing see when i see the wheels going straight and the turn signal indicator thing turning left i don't buy it yeah right it's like when somebody says i'm happy i'm happy for you <laughs> oh really right. right yeah that's where you don't buy it. yeah i don't buy it I right? smile on your face you know, exactly it's like you know what if, if you unclench that <laughs> fist and take two steps back i'll be happy for you Right? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to get very interesting. So why am I saying all this stuff? About hard work. Yeah, hard work, right? So anyway, all that you do and all that befalls you. So here's what I imagine, right? So I imagine having cool questions for the show, cool ways to reply to people that send me emails, all that kind of stuff. And today somebody tries to kill me. I mean, it has an indicator on. In other words, they're lying. Right. But but it's one of those things, because if you edit your words, you can, you can do all kind of things with editing of words. But it, what I'm curious about is what are you truly feeling? In other words, what's the direction that you're actually going in? Right. And so this whole thing with hard work and all that stuff, I didn't have to make I didn't make that person do anything with their indicator. Or not do anything with their indicator. Yes. Otherwise known as turn signal. In other words, they had free will to be a fuck up. I'm fine with that, right? <laughs> and, and, I, and I'll be in the car and I'll grunt and I'll have a giggle. Beth, yes. right? Oh, right? Oh, was Beth on the phone? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Beth, Beth's here, right? <laughs> yeah, no. And, and I'll do all this and I'll have free will and I don't work hard for anything. But here's the cool thing. I can't make anyone watch the show. I can't make anyone learn anything. All I can do is just have some fun imagining people are entertained by my, by my endless bullshit. Mm. and that I make a difference in the world. Dream Driven Day, the doors are open, but we're not doing Dream Driven Day, but go there anyway, dreamdrivenday.com. All right. And I think you nailed it, Mahia, in twice in your question. <laughs> what role does action play in manifestation? Oh, I got another play, answer. Play, key, Yeah, yeah, word. yeah, totally. And again. Play. It's not, um, what role does action play? <laughs> play. It's all about play. So yeah, yeah was, I, you know, was... I I notice when I imagine what moves me, I move. And today I'm sending articles, not one, but more, to yeah. Joe Weldon, <laughs> right? Because we explored yeah. something cool in our one on one yesterday, and today I'm 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 noticing me doing what we explored, and it's like, hey Joe, right? Do you want a little thing, right? <laughs> right, and I nuke his inbox. Right, just you know, bang. It's like sorry, pal. And then he says something, and I nuke it again. Right? Just, I, I can't help it. I'm in that. I'm in my state. I'm in my play state. So, like Neville Goddard, and I love Neville Goddard too. Neville imagined something, and he found himself on a stage giving hundreds of lectures. He probably gave other talks too. Some guy says that he kept all the secrets to these back room conversations about how to become a billionaire and only shared it with certain people and uh, you can go watch his video and learn the secrets that Neville didn't share with everyone because he didn't oh, trust everyone all right talk about bullshit <laughs> but anyway uh, and here we are I, I imagine sharing what works what's fun what's changed our lives what moved me around the world and uh, I'm not inspired to do this I just find myself doing it every Friday I enjoy it yeah. Right, but it's not like I'm waiting for inspired action to do it. That would have me experience that myth of writer's block and doing it once a lifetime. Like every Christmas, we'll have a show. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finally in the mood, Victoria. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Radio. Excellent, Mahia. All right. Thank you very much for your question. Stick around, Mahia. We'll continue to answer yours, Jason's, all of A's questions as we continue in the show, Beth. Yes. That is right. The next question is actually from Olive A to... This is some bullshit. ...in Law of Attraction. That's right. Relationship help. And Olive A asks, how do I know what I want for me? If I have mixed feelings about my relationship, and how do I imagine without trying to control her? This is really good shit. Good. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> right? Now, here's what's really, really cool, right? Hey, Lisa Triggs here. Hi, yeah. Right? Can we have a billion call? I've got an idea for a call this morning. It showed up. Probably while the guy with the indicator was trying to kill me. Right? It's like, <laughs> right. But I seem to digress. Uh, what was the question? Oh, yeah. Okay, relationship, relationship help. Relationship help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Victoria and I don't have a relationship. We're legally married, but what we do is we, we, we <laughs> yes, you didn't realize how infinitely curious and terrified she must be moment by moment. Yeah. What's he right? going to say right? now? What's he going to say now? What's he going to do? Especially when we're out. You guys understand. When yeah. we're out on the streets, yeah. it's just like, yeah. oh God. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. When we're out in public. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. You'd be shocked. The shit that shows up out of my I mouth. wouldn't be. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. You guys actually get me. Actually, I tell people at the pool, you know, we've got this show we do every Friday. It takes about an hour. And what is it? Oh, it's a spiritual show. <laughs> and they just go, you? <laughs> I get it in one way. It shocks me in another. Anyway, relationship help. Yeah. Relationship <laughs> Yes. Help. Yeah. So Victoria and I don't have a relationship, right? Uh, we also don't have a relationship. Uh, legally, we do. Legally, we're married. Mm -hmm. So they can say, what is the nature of a relationship? And I can say, she mine. She don't got no free will. She mine. Right? I made her mine. Made her do what I wanted her to do. Uh, right? But anyway, so this is for Jason as well. Yeah. 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 I love me some Jason. Yeah. I love me some Jason Bourne too. Right. Yeah, we do. Now that guy was really flexible and dynamic. I suddenly feel like Terrence McKenna again, but I digress. Right. So Jason Bourne was really dynamic. Right. As he's going through all this stuff, he doesn't remember who he is. Mm. Right. Doesn't remember what he is. Mm. Sort of sound like this adventure of a lifetime bullshit. You know, waking up to who you are and how this works. But I love me some Jason Bourne. Mm. And you never know what he's going to do next. Or he doesn't know what he's going to do next or what he's going to discover. Like suddenly he's taken you know, the handgun off the cop and dismantled it and beat the shit out of them both without hurting them seriously in a second. And it's like, how'd I do that? <laughs> I didn't know I spoke German. Right. Yeah, yeah, so so right. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. So relationship help uh, relationship. And we're exploring this in remarkable that you went into. Right. And we'll get to that, too. I think we did. We get to that We've question. Already yet? done that one. But yeah. Oh, my God. This is all about I don't even know two. how I answered it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the things we're exploring in remarkable is denominalizing. Because what, what a lot of people do is they live with nominalizations all the time. Denominalizing. Yes. Is, what does that what Thank does you, mean? Victoria. <laughs> this is great, right? <laughs> so what people do is they nominalize. They take a process and turn it into a virtual noun. Relating, they turn it into a relationship because we can define it. We're married, mm. and which means these 17 criteria have to be met, are met, legally binding, all that stuff. When she dies earlier than I do, I get her money. Yeah, that's fine. Right? <laughs> uh, on another, uh, on, in another episode, uh, she bought a hand axe. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, you bought the hand axe. Uh, true, I did buy the hand axe, yes. but you know, you, do, you chose where to put it. So, <laughs> as I seem to digress again, right? Relating is a dynamic thing. Me acknowledging that, sh that me acknowledging that she, the, has free will allows this dynamic we to show up in all kinds of cool ways. In other words, we're not the same marriage twice. Right? Which means it's a lot harder to keep score and it's a lot funner to play the game. So, so many marriages end up devolving into keeping score you, me, this, that, right, wrong, good, bad, all that bullshit gets stuck in attention and nothing gets shared. In other words, we get to discover the dance of each other and discover each other on a fairly continuous basis. Now watch this. Say the question again. 
how do I know what I want for me? Yep. If I have mixed feelings about my relationship. Of course you're going to have mixed feelings about a virtual noun. What, what you won't have mixed feelings about is, uh, me wants to be with she and enjoy some we. And we get to discover, you know, what do we do for the rest of our lives? What do we do on a day to day? If I try to define my relationship with her, uh, suddenly we've both become virtual things. She's a wife. I'm a husband. Even though I talk about this to a happy, loving husband, it's a dynamic. It's not a noun. Happy, loving husband is an experiential, not a box that I live in. It's a place that I live from. And sometimes it shows up when I'm not looking for power cables. <laughs> cool. How's that? Yeah, I think so. We, we get to discover a dance with each other and the dance of each other. Uh, if I define the shit out of her and then define what she needs to do to make me happy, uh, we've got a static seeming thing called a relationship. But notice her even just right there subconsciously try to shake it off. Yeah. It's yeah. shit. Yeah. Versus are we legally married? You betcha. Do I want to be with her for the rest of my life and hers? You betcha. If, if I go first, hopefully she feeds me to the chipper. Right, that that way she can keep keep getting my pension. I won't be feeding you to the <laughs> right? chipper. Right? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, if you feed me to the chipper, nobody I'll knows. You and I'll scatter you. Well, but then they'll know I'm dead. Well, if they don't know I'm dead, then you get to keep all the stuff. <laughs> I don't need your pension. <laughs> all right, that's good. Okay. So. All right. All right. So relating, you get mm. to explore the verb of relating. What qualities do you want to bring to the relating? Tony, nice to see you, pal. Look at it. It's my pork pie hat. Do, do I make you think of Breaking Bad or Stallone? <laughs> do, I, do I make you think? Those glasses. They <laughs> just run I love the McFly glasses. They do. <laughs> right. You realize that's in the past now? When he went to the future and met McFly? No, he was in the past where he met McFly. Anyway, that's all in the past. Yeah. All right. Let us continue. Okay. Anthony, meet ha Breaking Bad, that's right. Yeah. Look. Okay, thank you, Olivier. Let's see how that worked out. <laughs> and the I'll continue to answer your question. Steve Martin, did he wear one of these? Did he? Or was it the glasses? Uh, let me know, Penny. Uh, I'll watch what movie, because I've watched a lot of Steve Martin. She's digging <laughs> the stash, Beth says. Don't get a stash. I didn't shave today. Hmm. Oh, Michael's going to be so profoundly disappointed. Okay. And the last the question today is from Remarkable Lisa and Rock. Legacy or later? And Lisa asks, hello, 20 in Victoria. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> in Remarkable, Penny joined, shared her enthusiasm for how a certain musical performance moved her. I responded... <clears throat> I love how alive you are. You are leaving evidence of life. Your life touched by another's life of living. When we leave tracks for others to follow or follow in on, it becomes our legacy. Hopefully I read that all right. Yes. It seems being stirred at a very deep soul level elicits movement. What has a will, which has a will to live? And manifesting is easy and natural. Waiting for later is obsolete when we are intimately activated. Desire without depth feels forced, frantic and fearful. How do we position ourselves to leave a legacy of life? Thank you, Lisa. So I've got TT notes way at the bottom there, Heather. And uh, let's see what the hell happens between now and then, right? Mm. <coughs> Arousal. I, I, I find this to be really, really fascinating. So uh, there's exploration. There's exploring. Uh, I love those, as you know. There's expansion. Love all that. You okay? Yeah, just wondering uh, why he's uh, doing that. Because uh, he's got a dribble. What'd you do? Did you try to eat something? He's 
Sorry, yeah. Bruce is just. Yeah. yeah, he's got a dribble. Saliva coming down. Yeah. Could be just cold oh, and dripping. Just could be. I'm just going to get a tissue to so it stops dripping on me. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Jesse says, remarkable Jesse, who joined this past week, is getting a Scorsese vibe with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. Walden, what do you reckon on that? So, uh, thud. Explor explanations seem to me to hit with a thud. And they're about proving and about a point. And I, I, I just am not a fan of settling for explanations. Uh, hopefully my legacy doesn't involve much of that. That's probably the biggest criticism I get. You don't ever explain anything. No, I invite you to explore a fuck ton. All right, I'll, 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 I'll weave some connections. You know, you know, going back to the whole Hebrew thing of uh, Amar and Debar, right? You know, with words being used at, where, where the experience of a word is from a declaration, a, a discovery, a connection being made. The so so the song mentioned uh, was originally a Simon and Garfunkel song, and it was redone by uh, those other people. Uh, the Sound of Silence. Oh, the bridge. Oh, Sound of Silence. Yeah, I've got you. So, the mm. same song expressed differently. Same song actually expressed. I think the worst thing we can do in life is go, right, here's a niche that I can make money in and I'm going to I'm going to do something that makes money because these are the people who want to spend money. Disturbed. Thank you. And so when I hear their version of the song, it's disturbed. It is disturbing. Right? It's 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 this it's this expression which is 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 quite lovely and very different than the original. Uh, so even though it's the same words, what, we're, what's, what's coming forth is different, right? The when we talk about legacy and what am I giving life to? Uh, I notice explanations really don't give life. They may explain life, like I could explain kissing to her. It, it ain't gonna matter. I'd rather kiss her. If we explore kissing together. Uh, something lovely happens. If I explain kissing to her, nothing lovely happens. It's just that. It's loopy, uh, Beth mm. says. So, desire without depth feels forced, frantic, and fearful. I would say that's not desire. <clears throat> so, the other thing we're exploring in Remarkable, which I'm finding really interesting, is beckoning. I can say yes, I can say no to any concept, idea, state, right? And so I wake up this morning and uh, what isn't beckoning is writing something for profit. So I don't write something for profit. What's beckoning is writing for pleasure, for fun, for passion. And I write some of the most awesome shit this morning. And it may or, become, may or may not become profitable someplace at some, po some point in time. But it's really awesome shit, right? And I shared some of it with Remarkable, and uh, not, I think, I can't remember. I shared some in the Mod Squad, and I shared some with Joe. I shared some with a few people, uh, just for fun. But, it, but it's what I gave life to this morning. And, and, and so, when a desire beckons, I, well, from what I can tell, sorry, scratch, uh, a beckoning, uh, a, a, a beckoning, uh, she beckons me. Uh, if I try to do something out of obligation, it's just not all that fun. Uh, if I do something from a beckoning, everyone is blessed. And then I get to also trust what I may be beckoned to later on today is to write something for both fun and profit. The, this whole idea of in the moment, desire, Neville Goddard says, the moment you feel a desire, that's when you move into its assumption or something like that. I just noticed when I met her, something happened out of the blue. Wow. Right? When I saw her this morning in the kitchen. Wow. When I saw the lamb chops that are for lunch, we've got not one kind, but two kind of lamb chops for lunch. Wow. They beckoned. Yeah, I didn't have to force a decent meal down her throat or mine. Your reaction to the lamb chops? Mm. 
Yeah. Mm, right? <laughs> that fast, that fun. Yeah. This is the nature of beckoning. This is the nature of a beginning. And with a beginning, you can say no or more, please. And I, and I, and I love both because it's not good, bad, right, wrong, yes, no. It's not, yeah, this is not where I want to play right now. This is a concept, a state that I'm not buying into. And since I have bought the pearl, I get to notice, yeah. Yeah, what am I, what is beckoning me? What is in my beckoning at this point? So uh, there's some other stuff I was going to talk about, but it is not showing up. Look at this TT notes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah not even going to go there. I don't think. How do we do so far? Mm. How are we doing so far? Mm. Anything you want to list it out or join with that? No, I don't. I don't, oh, I don't know where to. Um... I noticed with her in the garden. <coughs> Uh, she gets beckoned. Uh, she, she was uh, out playing pruner the other day, and 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 as she's playing pruner, every now and then she stops back and thinks too much. But every now and then she also just becomes the artist, and artistically does what she does. And it's like the tree is beckoning. Yeah, th 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 this is this is how you planted me. Mm. This, yeah, I need your help to play. My little granddaughter would beckon me. In the state of happy, loving grandpap, it was fun. In the state of honey, I've got to fucking do something to make some money. Mm. Wasn't fun for anyone. No, because the beckoning wasn't there. Hopefully, years later, she remembers some of the beckoning. And and that's and that's again. I've got free will to remember and to give life to more and more beckoning with her, more and more beginnings. And having had done that for the past 14 years total, 12 years and five days married, if I'm counting <laughs> right, uh, I love having new beginnings with her all the time because it invites us both to play because we both have free will to accept or reject any state. And that's what we get to give life to. All this cool shit. So here's the nice thing. <coughs> Do I love Neville Goddard's work? Absolutely. Am I a Neville Goddard expert? Not a chance. What I notice is a lot of what Neville shares fits in with my experience, and so I'll use his words to share my experience. I'll also use mine. And that, to me, is the thing, because Neville left a legacy. His passion to dive deep into the Bible and everything else, a little bit different than mine. My legacy will be a little bit different than his, but they will complement each other. And I think that's the coolest thing, because if we have to run polarity against everything, we're just running a, a war against everything. Mm. If we allow ourselves to experience our artistic uniqueness, I get to take what I've learned from Neville and what I've experienced in life this morning and then and mention, you know what? Turn signals lie. <laughs> and if you believe that turn signals steer the car, Interesting, right? But I digress. Mm. All right. You got what happens when it sits here? It keeps going. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It and I go, and I go, deeper. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> look, look at her go. She's pulling it out. Yeah. She's ready for a strawberry. That's right. I, I think he must have bit something. He must have been bitten by yeah, because he doesn't seem something. bad. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he's just drooling. Yeah. He, 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 he's drooling like a 18 year old in a strip bar. Is he? Oh. So I'll just get that. <laughs> Excellent. So that was, yeah, you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Lisa Leakey. Hey, buddy. And, right, sorry, I just want to wipe that up. Um, tell us, what was your hashtag? Strawberry bit. And I love um, Lisa's one bit. It seems being stirred at a very deep soul level elicits movement. Yes. And um, mm. yeah, I love that. And I, I feel when when it wells up in me like that, and it can be like. It can be like what happened with Penny with that song. Yeah. Or the garden, if I go out. 
um, uh, I don't know, it, it, with different people, with you, with the puppy, when he digs, you're beckoning. Yes. Like when he dig, dig, digs on the bed. <laughs> yes. He's beckoning me. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes I'm not in the mood. But more often than not, I go and do it because I just adore him so much. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah. Things like that were my strawberry bits. What was yours? Where are your red secateurs at? Because uh, I bought those for you as a gift. Yes. Uh, a while back. And, a while and, back. And, and, and I took my time. I I got them on the Amazon.com that I yield. They're really good. Felco. And I just want to make yes. sure that you're not like losing them someplace. Because yes. I know how you are. Right? I love them too much to lose them. They're right down there. I know. What exactly. do you mean right down there? Just, just the other side of that tree. They're in their away that place chair. where they live. Because no, it's waiting for me to prune more. They're waiting for you, right? <laughs> they're waiting now, for me to be beckoned out to prune more. <laughs> there's such a difference between a waiting, a waiting, and waiting, right? Yes. Now here's the th cool thing, right? So, uh, a movement within God. This, this this depth. Depth doesn't come from structure. Structure can be useful. You know where the secateurs are? Yep. That's called structure. But there's there's something where the spirit moves, where there's a beckoning in you to go, right. And you know exactly what to do to bring out the best of that tree. In other words, that so tree will never be the same. As, as well about like your content and process that you've been talking about you betcha. recently. Absolutely. So the content is, yeah, the secretaries are there, the process of beautifying that tree. Beautification, I yeah. Yes. I move and grab them and yes. start. Yes. Yeah. So, she, so she's got structure. And the inspiration, the desire, whatever you want to call it, cannot possibly come from structure. She can look at the secretaries and go, I really should be pruning shit. <laughs> That's called obligation. Right? Ever have sex out of obligation? <laughs> I keep walking when I'm like that. So yeah, I keep I walking. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah, like yeah. That. Like, yeah. No, nah. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just yuck. Right? Mm -hmm. On the other hand, she knows where the secretaries are because when spirit moves her. Mm. In other words, when when that spontaneous, instantaneous, and spontaneous, and another remarkable thing, shows up, and you go, wow. Whenever she is moved by the vision, whenever her imagination takes on the level of vision, and she looks at that tree, and she knows. She, yes. doesn't, she, she, she doesn't have to go searching for the structure. Yeah. She takes the structure and uses it as spirit has moved her to. There's my strawberry bit. It's the bit. haunting of the mind. It's the me. haunting of the yeah. mind. Yeah. And do you have free will while you're doing the pruning? Me? Yeah. Huh. That's no, the, the pruning just happens. <laughs> yes. So she's moved into the state. She's accepted the state of pruner, experienced the vision of the tree. Mm. And and she doesn't wait for inspired action. She couldn't possibly do anything else. She couldn't possibly do anything else. No. All right. And Perry Culver's here. Love you, buddy. Oh, Hoo -ha. <laughs> cool. Well, you should fill my pecs. <laughs> Right? He gets me to check them every day. All right. There's other things she checks every day, too. Right? Who? Huh. Yeah. That's right. Excellent. Anyway. So All they right. were our hashtag strawberry beets. So you don't have free one your will, will when you're pruning the tree. You just, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to consciously think about every cut and then wait for inspired action or any of that bullshit. No, none of that. And, and, and you don't have to figure out what's your relationship to the tree. How old are you? How old is the tree? I question it. Yeah. Step away. From Step the cookie away jar. from the cookie like... jar. That's right. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they were our hashtag strawberry bits. While you type in yours, go to joinremarkable.com. That's our ongoing emergent adventure. Yeah. Come on, Oliver. Right. Yeah. We, we've got uh, you know monthly group calls. You get about a thousand dollars worth of goodies. All that bullshit. Joinremarkable.com. Mm. Uh, the other thing. This is more time sensitive. Dreamdrivenday.com. We are not doing Dream Driven doing Day. It. We're doing something called Destiny. Yes. Right? Because actually you should... Oh, well, you don't have to, but... Just how you were saying that you came in the other day, because we... He, 20 had already mentioned on the show... And we had people sign up. Last time. We've already had three people sign up. Yeah, Dream Driven Day is back on in July. And then he said... He came in from the hot tub and he goes... I'm not driven to do Dream Driven Day. Yeah, I'm I can't send out the emails. Inspired, right? whatever it yeah, is, it's, it's like, it's 
not happening. Yeah, I've got. So s- like, oh, I, I, okay. I, I, I got to say no to that. Yeah. And I got to say more please to something else. And what has shown up for that? Yeah. Hoo ha! So. Yeah. If you guys have done Dream Driven Day before and you want to do something different, that's pretty you know, remarkable. Is a lovely slow burn. Uh, Destiny. It's going to be and a lot it's of fun. Fast. Days still, yeah, it's a, it? yeah. Thirty days. You know, it's four destiny. group calls and uh, private <laughs> yeah. Facebook group. All that stuff. It's it's a very different thing. Mm. Beth is so 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 excited. Yeah. That's right. So go to DreamDrivenDay.com, even though it's not for DreamDrivenDay.com, and <laughs> sign up for Destiny, because I just didn't have it in me to, to go buy right. To, yeah, to, yeah. Well, well that, probably, that won't I'm be sure available. It's not available. So. <laughs> yeah. So. And um, for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, FillItRealFun.com. That's right. Why? You could check if joindestiny.com is available. But well, well, yeah. As as we've discovered, <laughs> uh, who as was soon it? As you it? One of the lovelies uh, went to Remarkable.com. And we don't own that. That's, no. that, that's a device, right? <laughs> yes. Joinremarkable.com. Hoo-ha. That's us, right? Yeah. Anyway. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Have a lovely day. And weekend. We'll catch you next week. And tune in for the Lamb Chop Show later on. Because remember that there was a little kid's show, and it was somebody in Lamb Chop, and, 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 and Lamb Chop would... What was the name of that show? Somebody's got to know. It was like puppets, and one of them was Lamb Chop. And when I was a child, I just sat there and went, mm.